Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Trading Computers. This is our quick tip video series. In each of these videos, I will show you step by step how to perform configurations and customizations to save you time at your trading computer. In this video, I want to explain to you how to make shortcuts on Windows 7 using your start menu. This is a very simple tip, but it actually saves you a lot of time if you have applications you use frequently. The first thing is to navigate down to the start menu in the lower left corner. Left click on the start menu icon. Next, navigate to the program that you want to use frequently by going to all programs. Click left click on all programs. You'll see all the programs available to you on your computer. Now what you want to do is mouse over to the application that you use frequently. In this case, I'll use my internet browser, Mozilla Firefox, just as an example. Right click on the application icon, and the next thing that you'll see in the gray contextual menu is pin to start menu. Left click on pin to start menu. Now mouse down to the bottom of the start menu and click back now you'll see that Mozilla Firefox is pinned to the start menu. Next, if we want to remove this, we can simply left click on the Mozilla Firefox icon and say unpin from start menu. Now that we've unpinned it, it no longer appears here. Let's just use another example so you can see it once more. I'll go to all programs and left click. Next, I'll find the application I want. In this case, let's say that I want to use TradeStation. So I click on TradeStation, at least the folder, and now I see TradeStation 9.1 is located here under the folder. Now I will right click on the TradeStation application icon and click Pin to Start Menu. I'm going to click Back now, and I can see that TradeStation appears at the top of my Start Menu. You can actually customize these a great deal more if you want to. You can hold down your mouse and drag them up or down in the order of the menu. Maybe you want to prioritize your most often used applications at the top and the applications that aren't used as much at the bottom. So with this tip you'll be able to save yourself a lot of time from having to navigate through all your programs. The last thing that I would mention is if you don't want to have some of these default applications appear in the second half or the lower half of the start menu, you can just unpin them using the same routine. I hope this quick tip helped you today. Thanks for watching this video at Easy Trading Computers, and we'll see you next time.